Hi, my name is Joe and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at some design rule checks inside of SolidWorks Electrical 2014 schematic. If you've been watching the series on design rule checks, you'll know that we can access our design rules uh, by going to the Project tab and going to the Report section and clicking on DRC, Design Rules Check. When we come in here, we get into the Design Rules Manager and we can access the list of uh, different design rules that come with SolidWorks Electrical out of the box. We've gone ahead and uh, picked out this assigned part not used, which is the one that we're going to be using today. So if we go ahead and take a look at this, um, the parts assigned a component but not used, what this design rule check is designed to uh, look for is any components that are in our component list that do have a manufacturer parts assigned to them. So they'll appear in a bill of materials and they are expected to go into the project, uh, but they don't have a representation in the schematic or in the line diagram, they don't have symbols, um, or perhaps they are represented but their circuit points are not uh, correctly represented, therefore the system doesn't identify it as being in use. So what we can go ahead and do is generate this drawing, and if we come over to our document list, a new document appears here at the end, this assigned part not used, and if we go ahead and open this, we can see that there are two components at the top here that are in our F1, uh, in our first part of the project. And then this F2, we're not going to worry about this, is in a different book, so we're just going to ignore these two. But this H17 appears to be missing or not represented, so let's take a look for that. If we go into our component list and right click and go to search component, we can look for that H17 and figure out where it is. And there it is. It appears in our component list in uh, the chassis L11 location, um, but there's no schematic associated with this. I, I do not have any symbols that appear here uh, anywhere. So we can close this, go back to our component list, find that H17, and let's take a look at the properties. It appears here that somebody assigned a, a Schneider Electric buzzer parts to this component, and what we need to do now is represent it somewhere in the schematics. So let's choose a schematic sheet and uh, it looks like that we need an alarm here. So let's go up to our schematic tab, insert symbol, and if we go into this other symbol here, we can see that in the signaling alarm section we have some bells, some horns, some speakers. We're gonna choose this buzzer, select it, and place it right on the schematic. When we do that, it's gonna try to increment to the next available tag for a new component, H18, but we know that this actually is already going to be associated to the H17 in our L11 chassis, so all we have to do is change this down to H17, associate it, there it is, and say OK. This brings in the manufacturer part information that I showed you in the component properties. Um, but the next thing is to go back to our report here and update this document by going to the document list, assign part not used, right click, and update. Obviously, because we've uh, gone ahead and put a schematic symbol now for that manufacturer part, it disappears from the list. So the next one we need to check is this X121. So let's take a look at that. If we look in our component list, I know that this X1 belongs to this terminal strip. And just looking at the different strips that are in there, we can see that all of them are blue except for this last one, number 21. This indicates to us that it's not being used. And if we look in our schematics, sure enough, I can see 1 through 20 with a couple of them over here, but no 21. So the next step is to add that 21 strip. Let's go into our schematic here and go to insert terminal and we'll go ahead and place a uh, single terminal here on this red one and say okay it's going to try to look for this x6 but we don't want that instead we're going to make this our x1 and it's going to look to create a new uh, terminal strip but we don't want that we want to associate it to the existing one and there it appears in the list and say okay and we get that connection there, and we can see that 21 is now being used. If we go back to our report, we can just go ahead and click the update button to remove it from the list. So in this way, the assigned part not used design rule check could be used, utilized to uh, look through the entire schematics and make sure that any components that we are going to have in the bill of materials that do have a manufacturing part assigned um, are actually represented in the schematics somewhere, or at least have some kind of a wire or something going to them. So for uh, other design rule check videos like this, be sure to check back on our series and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.